I grew up in Tehran, but I moved to London and later to the States to study. So I, I moved out when I was 17 and I was away for about seven years. I moved back for good about 10 years ago and have been living and working here since. Ironically, as the city um, is losing more and more of its open spaces, images of gardens with blue skies or scenes of villages are painted onto the already existing buildings, creating an illusion of perspective and openness, projecting a supposedly desired life onto the undesired. So in fabrications, I take the, the murals and the buildings that they're painted on and turn them into uh, a miniature monument uh, as an attempt to capture the ephemeral nature of the murals and to freeze them to become the representatives of this era. Some form of reality is given to the painting by making the two-dimensional, three-dimensional, and the actual building and the illusion become one architectural structure and the result of which is as unsettled as the Tehran of today, a city longing for the illusion of its past while restlessly bulldozing over itself to build a fantasy of its future. Uh, my work is about everyday events, experiences, objects, and their relationship to the larger social context. I take um, the elements of these subjects apart and then put them back together in a way that uh, reveals something um, unnoticed about, about these uh, subjects. So this is the example of one of the demolished houses that you see um, in Tehran these days. You see so much of this kind of demolition happening in the city. And you can, you can tell this is not a very old building, probably like 20 years old or a little bit more, but it's being demolished because they probably want to build something that is like the one that is next to it, like a five-story high um, building. And this kind of demolition is um, changing the neighborhoods of uh, Tehran in, um, really, really fast. I have so many layers of memory from each corner of the city. Every part of the city is associated with memories from different stages in my life. I think that's what makes this fast speed of construction so destructive in a way. It's taking away our collective memory and individual memory with it. That neighborhoods are changing so fast that they are unrecognizable. I think you feel lost when you can't relate to a space. You kind of feel lost. That's, that's how it feels when you don't know your surroundings. To be a witness to the total transformation of the city in the last 30 years, it's so extraordinary, really.